Hey there, are you ready for another Bible adventure? Today, we're learning how to obey God. When we do what God asks us to, it makes Him so happy. Now, here's a hint of where our Bible adventure is going to be today. Where do you think it'll be? Let's get started. Well, hello, boys and girls. You're right on time. My name is Clara, and I live here in my cuckoo clock. I keep time moving right along each day so that everyone has fun as we play. Would you like to have a fun time with me today? Yes! You do? Well, tickety-talk. Just like any clock, my clock has two hands. One is big, and one is small. These hands tell me what time it is. Let's look at the big hand. What picture is the big hand on my clock pointing to? The music note. The music note, right. That means it's time to sing. Everyone, stand up and sing a song with me. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Everybody sing Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down Everybody praise the Lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord Everybody praise the Lord. Everybody praise the Lord. Oh, you sounded terrific. And would you look at that? The big hand is moving closer and closer to the next spot on our clock. When the big hand makes it to the next spot on my clock, there's a special song I sing. It goes like this. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! We're right on time. The big hand is pointing to a picture of a game. <laughs> well, that must mean it's game time. Let's play What's Missing. You see, we have a pirate hat, an eye patch, and some gold doubloons. Then we have another pirate hat and an eye patch. What comes next in the pattern? Boys and girls, do you know what's missing? The gold doubloons. The gold doubloons. You've got it. Hmm, I wonder where we could find one of those. Good idea. Maybe we can look for one at our next stop on the clock. Oh, the big hand is moving again, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick, tock, goes the clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Oh, what feathering fun! <laughs> it's time for a Bible adventure. Today, we're going to a pirate ship. Buckle on your pirate boots. And make sure to put on your eye patch. Now flap your wings and fly on a Bible adventure with me. Ahoy, mateys! Welcome aboard me ship. If you're here looking for gold doubloons, then you have definitely come to the right place. Me and me crew would be more than happy to give you a few, but before you go, would you have time for a story? Yeah! Shiver me timbers! The best way to hear a story out here on the open seas is to click on your listening ears. Do it with me. Click, click. 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 Good job! Now, you also be needing to put on your special pirate eyes. Zoop! Yeah. Zoop! You are ready now! My favorite book to read for story time is the Bible, and one of my favorite people to read about is a man named Joseph. Let me hear all of you shout, Joseph! Joseph! Yes, mateys! When Joseph was a boy, his brothers were not kind to him. They sold Joseph to traders who took him to live far away in Egypt. While he was there, Joseph had to work hard as a slave. He was even put in jail. Mateys, let me hear all of you say, Oh no! Oh no! 
But wait, me hearties, there's more to Joseph's story. Several years later, God told Joseph to store up grain because one day the fields would stop growing food. Joseph obeyed God, and now the people of Egypt had food when there was none in the land. Joseph's brothers lived far away from Egypt. When the fields stopped growing food, they had no food to eat, and they were hungry. Mates, let me see you give your tummies a pat like you'll be hungry too. Arg! So the brothers traveled to Egypt to ask for food. They didn't know they were asking for food from their very own brother. Instead of being mean to his brothers, Joseph obeyed God and was kind to his brothers, giving them food to eat. Then Joseph said to his brothers, "I am Joseph." His brothers were so surprised. It had been so long since they had seen him. Joseph told his brothers that he was not mad at them. See, Joseph knew that God says we should forgive others when they hurt us, and he obeyed God. Joseph forgave his brothers for hurting him, and he also obeyed God by loving them and taking care of his family. Let's all cheer for Joseph obeying God. Great job! Over the next few years, Joseph's family lived in nice homes and had plenty to eat. Joseph also obeyed God by taking care of the people in and around Egypt. He made sure they had plenty to eat also. Joseph obeyed God every day, and because of that, God did great things through him. Mates, God wants you and me to be obeying him too. You see, when we be obeying, it shows God how much we love him. Now, if you want to show God you love him by obeying, let me hear you say this after me. Obey Obey God God You got it. Thanks for taking the time to hear my story. I, I almost forgot. Here's the doubloons you be looking for. Farewell, mates. Tickety tock. Oh, we found what we needed. But the big hand is moving, which means time is ticking. So let's sing my special song together. Tick tock goes the clock. Cuckoo cuckoo! It's time to help. Lots of people need our help every day. Do you remember something we learned on our Bible adventure that could help someone else? Ah yes, we learned to obey God. Everyone, say this after me. Obey. Obey. God. God. That's it. Oh, and look, here's someone we can help. This is Sammy. Sammy and her best friend are playing pirates. Sammy's mom tells them to clean up because it's time for her friend to go home. Can Sammy obey God by obeying what her mom is saying? Or by yelling at her mom. By obeying. You got it. When Sammy obeys her mom, she will be obeying God. It's time for us to help Sammy do the right thing. Let's help Sammy by telling her what we learned on our Bible adventure today. Say it after me. Obey. Obey. God. God. Well, tickety tock. We were right on time to help Sammy. She heard what we said, and now she's obeying her mom. That's obeying God too. And you and I can obey God by obeying our parents and leaders, just like Sammy. You know, there's a verse from the Bible that tells us all about how God wants us to live every day. Say it after me. Love. Love. Being kind. Being kind. To others. To others. Micah six eight. Micah six eight. Cuckoo! I can love being kind to others, and so can you. It's always a good time to be kind. Speaking of time, the clock is ticking. So let's sing my special cuckoo clock song together. Tick tock goes the clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo! It's time to sing again. I know just the song that can help us remember how God wants us to live. Stand up and let's sing it together.
got time to travel We're gonna do what's right We're gonna love everybody And we'll always be kind Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey Jesus, I will do what you say I will obey. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. I want to love, love, love. I want to be, be kind. I want to obey God and do what's right. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. time to travel we're gonna do what's right we're gonna love everybody and we'll always be kind jesus i will do what you say i will obey i want to love 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 Feathering fun. <laughs> time sure flies when you're having fun. It's time for me to go, but I hope you will come back soon. Cuckoo! Wow, we learned a lot about how to obey God today. And now it's time to say our Bible verse together. Ready? Love being kind to others. Micah 6 8. Great job, my friends! See you next time!